Hello everyone, this is Jarko at Backyard Figs, a small nursery in Michigan, just north of Detroit, zone 6A. Hello, so today is April 17th of 23, and it's a very special video for me, tasting of a first fig this season of 23. And for me, this is the earliest so far. Usually I would get a ripe fig uh, in July and that would be Hardy Chicago. So I want to share this experience, this experiment that I have uh, here in Fig Row Room and show you the possibility. If you would like to try something like this, maybe on a smaller scale or a bigger scale, uh, it will be nice to see the dates when and how long it will take for the first fig to ripen. So this is exactly three months around there, maybe a day or two uh, later, since I started um, my figure room turning the lights on. And first breba or first crop is ripe. The variety is uh, Maltese Beauty. And I possibly have uh, some other varieties here. They're very close. Uh, I only see one here. I'll show you the Arena. And now let me just take you back to the fig. We're gonna pick, and then I'm gonna do a tasting review. I was quite busy last uh, couple of days, and my figs uh, got on a dry side. I noticed uh, Borges what degree dropping. It's only Breba. So I'm not sure exactly if this is the cause of the dryness, or just a uh, that the uh, tree could not uh, hold this uh, breba. It was quite big. And there is another one here on this side. I'm gonna just show you this since I just spotted it. This is Della Reina right there in a the corner, right there. So I'm gonna look at that fruit tomorrow. Now let's go and see Maltese Beauty. So I haven't tasted Maltese Beauty Breba or main crop for that matter. And I'm not sure really if this fruit is fully ripe. It did drop like this. You can see that the neck is quite soft. So I will pick. Let me just try to see if it's going to come off. Yes. So pretty good. And now you can see that the main crop is also there. Okay. I call this now a fig jungle. It's kind of hard to walk through these rows. These are my black Madeiras here. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm gonna just measure the weight first. First fig of, in a season of the season is always very special. And actually pretty much any fruit that I grow, the first fruit of the season is uh, has been long awaited, so. Okay zeroed and it is 31 gram grams I'm not gonna pick a leaf I will just take a photo of a fruit maybe from this side
All right. I have already calibrated the refractometer, so let me just see. It's at zero. So using distilled water to calibrate. And what I usually do, I will cut it in half and then let's flick for good luck. About here. So, I feel like it needed a, an extra day. An extra day or possibly two, but then I wouldn't be sure if that uh, fruit will hold. So, we're gonna taste it anyways. First, I'm gonna just taste and see if it's really sweet, and then I will take a bricks. Wow, I would never expect it to be this tasty and to have the sweetness um, just be because from the looks it doesn't look as fully ripe but it is soft and sweet hmm okay so not bad for the breda, breba um, I'm gonna pulverize this I know sometimes I say emulsify but this is pulverizing I'm gonna extract some of the juices juices from the acinies and uh, how sweet it is I will say this is about 21 2 around there it's quite sweet but I'm gonna go with 21 Okay, let's take a look at the sun <laughs> and see what we have. It's hard for me to do it. Let's see. Okay, this really needs to be centered. Okay, and now I can't really see what it is, but later I will try to read. You can probably see before I can. All right, it is, yeah, well, it looks like 21 or 22, something like that. Okay, yes. So, how would I describe the taste? It is not as uh, intense berry flavor. It has pleasant taste. I would say mild berry flavor. And I have to taste this other half now again. Mm-hmm. So this is more mild, that figgy or white mulberry taste. And uh, yeah, I, I just uh, taste more sweetness now than um, a berry intense flavor. But it's very, very pleasant uh, um, flavor. Okay, so that was Maltese Beauty Breva and 
next time we're gonna taste uh, hopefully a main crop thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next time bye bye